good morning it is 5 30. i don't know when i don't know how i don't know the science this is my first video where i'm trying something new where i'm putting in this graphic of whenever i reference a blog post or a let's see or a video this is what i use to make it and you're able to even put videos in here so I'm going to keep editing this and actually this is my Valentine's Day prop video so I'll have it linked on the iCard if you want to see the end results. The last thing is to add the b-roll so that is what I am shooting right now. My vlog is exporting. I can't do or video, not vlog. I can't do anything else on my computer while it's exporting because my computer is, acts like it's prehistoric 1989. Like I, I cannot touch it or I can't just fry an egg. Like I could make a whole brunch on it at this point. So a three course meal brunch. So I am going to pick up the loft. It's not messy, it just has lots of random things. Get a little bit organized, take a shower, upload that um, in between and then send it off for approval, get ready for the day and I'll catch back with you shortly. I just finished getting ready. I, well, I need to do my lipstick. This is my favorite lip combo. It's completely sepia lip liner. The gloss is from Maybelline. Got it on sale for like $4 at Fred Meyer. It's in the color Topaz. It's supposed to be a dupe for one of the Fenty uh, colors. And then Milani Pretty Natural. Rosy, but it's a bit nude. It's beautiful. I'll have it linked below. I also put in my earrings. I have my Jessica Heart Huggy earrings, really cute puffy heart. And then I have the Cora safety pin heart earrings from Anna Luisa, who is sponsoring today's video. Anna Luisa is one of my absolute favorite of all time jewelry lines. Everything that they do is ethical, sustainably sourced, and they offset all their carbon emissions. So from sourcing the raw materials, to disposing of the pieces. Right now, everything on their site is 15% off. I have a link down below in the description box to get you that 15% off everything so you can gift yourself something for Valentine's Day or somebody that you love in your life. The jewelry starts at $39. There's no luxury markup. Everything is very fairly priced. I used to work in e-commerce and we sold jewelry and I've been to the trade shows. I know that jewelry, even costume jewelry, has at least a three times markup. But with Anna Luisa, everything is fairly priced. So I selected these pieces because I love hearts. It's Valentine's Day, they have heart items on the site. I snagged those up because for me, these are Valentine's Day and they're also everyday pieces. I wanted something that I could also stack. I wore the safety pin this morning. You saw um, up on my other piercing, you can layer these and they're quite lightweight. Don't forget, 15% off the entire site. It's already a good price and with this discount, it's even better use the link in the description box below to get your 15% off discount code i just got a little package from keh camera which is where um you can buy and sell used camera gear i've worked with them for about two years now and they are so amazing and they sent over some things cute a mask <gasps> lens cloth oh my gosh i had no idea that they came out with like merch and a little pin that's so cute if you haven't considered buying used equipment 
this is going to change the game for you because used gear isn't just things that people that's damaged that's water damage weather damage most likely it's been sitting in somebody's closet collecting dust and actually on keh they inspect everything so thoroughly so you're not going to have something that's water damage you know exactly what you're buying unlike facebook marketplace uh, and you can also sell your gear there too i should be getting a lens in from them in the next couple of days i'm borrowing a 14 millimeter a Canon 14mm 2.8, I believe. I'm using it to photograph my interiors because I've been shooting with my 24, but it's not wide enough, especially since a lot of, like, I have ceilings that have been painted. Not this one, but, like, my bedroom ceiling is really bright, and I want to incorporate that more into the photo. So um, they're so kind. They're so amazing. They're sending that my way to borrow. But I'll have KEH linked down below, and I have one more, actually two more things that I got in the mail that I want to include in this little haul. Okay, that's a little bit better white balance. So the next thing I got in is from Pangaea. I love Pangaea. They are a sustainable, eco-friendly, uh, ethically sourced loungewear company. They make amazing loungewear. So sweat sets. They've also expanded into outerwear, which I'll talk about in a second. They sent me two things from their Arctic collection, and I just got in the sweatpants. The first thing I got is my hoodie. This is in deep sea blue. I got it in extra small. It fits amazing. It's so thick and comfortable and cozy. I love the fit. It's slightly oversized. It's cut just perfectly it's very flattering we still have that oversized feel um and their arctic collection has five or six different shades of blue so if you're really into blue it all ranges from like super super light icy to very very dark um, almost navy and you also saw me wearing the pink crew neck that i was wearing um while making breakfast and everything before i truly got ready like after i showered before i put makeup on that is flamingo pink from their funnel neck collection everything about the whole process is eco-friendly so from the dye to the water that is being used to produce the garment and to dye the garment is recycled water to the i mean even the packaging that it comes in is compostable but even this sticker is made of cornstarch the tag itself let me show you let's open it up I just love this color. The tag is recyclable, but even the string that it's attached on is recycled uh, cotton too. And they combine technology with being, this isn't sponsored, this is just gifted. They don't know, they don't know that I'm putting in a YouTube video. I just get so excited about these brands that combine technology with uh, sustainability. So like I mentioned, they're going into outerwear and they have this um, puffer jacket that the puff inside the down is made of recycled wildflower waste so they're combining technology with i mean it's so amazing so check out pangaea if you haven't already but these are the sweats i just got in i got an extra extra small in the sweatpants and i love this color and these are loose on the bottom which is cool and they're cut so you can cut them to size so now i have my track pants set at my bright blue and bright pink now the last thing that i got in i'm also so excited is from farm rio which is a beautiful line based out of brazil actually the sweater i'm wearing is from from rio they have so many bright colors patterns interesting patterns really cool cuts for the clothes i mean look at the sweater i'll link everything below it's not tucked in, but okay. Look at these sleeves, this pattern. The knit is amazing. It's thick, but it's not like you're, you don't feel sweaty and hot because it's cotton. This brand, for every item purchased, they plant a tree. Similar to also Pangaea, I believe. Let's see. I'm so excited. Okay, so I saw this shirt on the first line sheet because this was gifted to me. Um, and I, wait, I saw this on the website and it wasn't in my size at the time, but then I saw it on the recent line sheet and I got it. And I'm so excited. So it's this really cool cool embroidered almost like western inspired button down oh my gosh and all of this is embroidered it's not printed um it's so i mean this is amazing look at the end of it i mean look at this oh my gosh and the feel it's so soft it's cotton um oh my gosh even look at this tag it's really cool Oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful. I feel like maybe I want to wear this today. I'm going to pop it in the wash first, but 
so gorgeous and all of their stuff is like this and then I got um, a sweatpants set that I'm so stoked about so this is their toucan set I believe I'll have everything linked below look at these sweatpants they're so bright and so fun they match my house so well I love the stripe down it and then this just has um, the elastic on the ends and then it also comes with a matching hoodie which I'm really stoked about I can wear this you wear them together or separate I'll definitely wear them together because it's the most loud and bold but it's stretchy really nice fabric oh my gosh I love this like chevron in the front it's almost like kind of retro colors but then with this interesting really bold pattern oh this has like a raglan does this have a raglan sleeve i believe so so it's a really cute oh my gosh i'm so excited bumblebee's down here let me show you guys him he's hanging out right here bumblebee's down here hi bumblebee what do you think that's my mini haul for today so fun but don't forget Anna Luisa 15% off of everything on their site pop this stuff in the washing machine and get back on the computer to get started with uh, the second half I guess no the second third mathematics the next part of my work day let's go <laughs> I have linen sheets from the Citizenry and these are the most comfortable sheets in the world. They get softer and softer every time you wash them. So I'm gonna have the set linked down below. These two beautiful chartreuse pillows are from Aviva Standoff, my favorite textile designer. They're in the color moss. I'll link these below. And then this blanket is also Aviva Standoff. It is softer than a Barefoot Dreams blanket and it will never get, um, matted up like barefoot dreams do because it's all knit together it's not like fleece and she said that actually the they wanted it to feel like um a bunny and that's exactly what it feels like so it's so cozy and this is there's nothing really new about my bedroom um to update on i did put this random side table here so that I could have two tables, two surfaces, but there's nothing really new. I'm still trying to decide, do I want to do an acorn bed or do I want to stick with white and just swap this out for maybe something more dramatic, maybe like a white velvet with a kind of tall headboard. I'm not really sure, but I would love to hear your suggestions. I'm really still loving everything. And this fan is from Kitchler. It's so cool and modern. So I just made this Instagram reel. I actually did it within Instagram itself. I've never done that before. Um, and I'm so proud of myself for doing it. I did it on the Instagram app. I did the text and everything. Okay, I just got an email approving my Valentine's Day video. So I dropped everything. I you know, did the little like I cards and things that you have to, you can't pre-schedule. Anyways, I uploaded it, got it ready to go and posted it and now it's live and I am going to keep working on Instagram Reels. Let's check what my, um, what my views are at. So it's been up for what, like 20 minutes maybe? Oh, it's at 1200 views. How do I see when I, let's see. 25 minutes ago, 1200 views. That's pretty good for a very basic reel. Like it was nothing super special other than, you know, caption ideas. So we are going to make some more, but I'm gonna definitely, um, I'm gonna change for almost all of them. I might film like two, two outfits, two reels per outfit, but then plan it out to be more staggered. It is 12.30 and I'm going to take a break. Bumblebee and I were, will go for a walk, maybe like 30 minute walk. I don't want to bring my phone, but I want to listen to music. So maybe I just won't at all. Filled things out of my planner. We're going to accomplish some of those things. I did a lot this morning. I really did. And then I would really love to film my a part of my online photography workshop this afternoon or this evening. I just don't know. I have really bad period cramps and or not necessarily cramps, but I just feel all over like if you have a period you know what I mean and so I don't know if it's like the best 
time to be filming that when I have the option to wait till like Sunday or Monday when I'll be off of my period. So that might be smarter to do. Now I did record the intro and one whole chapter last weekend and I took a bit of a break in between filming them and I wasn't happy with how uh, the, the chapter went because my hair it was so it looked weird on camera it almost looked greasy even though it wasn't and it had little tiny dandruff flakes so i'm just going like a two and i'm that's just if somebody's paying for a program i want it to be something that i'm 100 percent happy with and so even though i could have just sent that off to get edited because i do have monica satin she's editing my workshop i'm so excited i just want to be like happy with what i'm seeing so i will be re-recording that and it's a good chance for me to also revise um, the lesson a bit and just shorten it because I was rambling quite a bit which I think there's some value in rambling as long as it's productive with workshops because people do want to hear the full scope but mm, I would like to re-record it so I don't know if I'll do that tonight if I don't then it's not a big deal and it's Friday so I can get off of my email in a few hours and now I am going to, okay, I need to get outside even though I don't want to because I just need a bit of a break. I'm feeling a little burnt out. Bumblebee and I just got back from our walk. Hello, Bumblebee. It was good. We were out there for an hour. So that's double the time I was planning, which is amazing. I definitely am starting to feel the period like grogginess a little more. So I'm gonna have some Tylenol. I'm gonna make myself a big lunch. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday. So I'm really excited. I have lots of good um, food options and I am going to just hopefully Give myself like another hour. I mean, I have been working until 5.30, like 5.30 to 1.30? No, 5.30 to 1. So I think I can give myself some grace and take another hour break or so. Let the Tylenol kick in and then I really want to finish making the Instagram reels. I know that sounds like such an insignificant thing, but I'd really try to batch my content and so I want to do my reels for the next two weeks um, on my, it's Friday, so I wanna do it on a Friday. And so <laughs> then I'm going to be um, putting the finishing touches on a dedicated YouTube video, which is really exciting whenever brands wanna do a dedicated video. And then I wanna edit this video and get it um, sent in so I can upload it this weekend. Anyway, I need to take some Tylenol, so that's a little update, but it's two o'clock and I'll check in at like three. Okay, these are so good. They're three grams of sugar. You get them at Costco. It tastes like an almond joy. It doesn't taste like fake, nasty sugar, Splenda ooh, kind of vibe. They're so amazing. So I have these, I have two of these. To be honest, I would have six, but I just could only fit two in my jeans. Two of these, and I made myself a cup of coffee and I'm feeling way better after taking an hour to chill. So I am going to uh, begin working. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's been a few hours since a vlog update. I have been on the computer. I created some reels. I posted one of them. It's from my one of my first ever Lightroom editing tutorials. I know I did this editing tutorial like twice because it did well the first time and I was like, let's do it again. So um, it's how to edit eyes in Lightroom in a very quick way to make them pop. And so I'm hoping that that will do well. Um, we'll see. Okay, so right now I just posted it like three minutes ago and it is at 222 views. So let's see um, how many it's at by the end of the night when I close out the vlog. My caption one is at 6,400. So it's not doing as well as I thought, but it's all about experimenting. It doesn't seem like doing Instagram, using the Instagram reel, creating the reel in Instagram has much of an effect, but I don't know if I can say that for sure because I feel like I would need to do a few more to really test it out. So uh, it's 5.48 p.m. So I am going to actually um, take off my makeup, get ready, and then I believe that I will answer some emails, maybe work on my workshop a little bit, and end the night because we've been working for, I mean, I had some breaks but we've been working for uh 
since 5.30. Okay, it is eight o'clock. I just had dinner, washed my face, finished my work day. I'm feeling good. I'm going to take a bath, watch some TLC with my mom. The show we're liking to watch right now is called Kate Plus Date. Um, it's really funny, her reaction to everything. She's very like, uh, frank. But thank you so much for coming along with me for this vlog. If you would like more work day in my life vlogs, let me know. I could also compiled together more of a week span. Don't forget that you can get 15% off of everything on the Ana Luisa website using my link down in the description box below. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!